Don't see R-rated movies. This is the only time that a member of the First Presidency ever mentioned rated R movies in General Conference. Yet, not watching any films rated R or above is widely considered by members in North America to be the official standard of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But most tend to misremember how often that teaching was repeated by leaders in the church, or even in its official publications. Case in point, over the six editions of For the Strength of Youth, none of them ever mention not watching rated R movies as the standard for what media is appropriate or not. And even as a cultural rule, it's not a very good standard. Not watching rated R movies means eliminating a majority of cinema right off the bat. In 2018, the MPAA released a report about its rating system that showed that since its inception in 1968, about 58% of all movies they rated received an R rating. 58%! That's 17,202 films. International cinema is especially impacted by this because those films don't always match well with American cultural sensibilities. French movie like Antouchable, for example, a beautiful comedy about tolerance and hope, rated the equivalent of a G in France, was rated R for language because of the cultural differences between France and the U.S. when it comes to swearing. The U.S. rating system is also very arbitrary. It's overly sensitive to language. Just using the F word twice will guarantee you an R rating regardless of the content of your film, and yet it's incredibly permissive when it comes to violence. You end up with bizarre situations where a movie like Kong Skull Island which glorifies violence and features 63 brutal on-screen deaths like these. It gets a PG-13 rating, whereas a movie like The King's Speech that has a scene like this is rated R for language. But what we often forget is that in some cases, there is a reason for the use of language or violence. Take the scene from The King's Speech. The reason why our character is swearing is because he just discovered that when he is angry and curses, he doesn't stutter. A real thing for people with a disability. That's the moment he realizes there's hope for him. That's the pivotal moment of the movie. War films, like Saving Private Ryan or Hacksaw Ridge, both of which are rated R, and deservingly so, use graphic violence to realistically portray what war is like. But they use it in order to denounce war, never to glorify it. Now, not all films are moral or appropriate to watch, but the MPAA rating system shouldn't be our be-all, end-all standard. Maybe a good starting point, especially as a teenager, but when we become adults, we ought to become more thoughtful, or we might deprive ourselves of some of the most important works cinema has to offer. But most of all, we ought not to judge others for the standard they choose for themselves.